Hi, this is Geert Jan from the NetBeans team. What I have here is some HTML files, a bunch of JavaScript, as you can see, a bunch of libraries, jQuery in this case. I also have um, some images of rabbits, and I have some CSS style sheets. So, basic HTML content for some kind of client-side um, application. Let's see how we can work with this inside NetBeans. So I switch to NetBeans, I go to File, New Project, and here I have HTML5 application with existing sources. I click Next and I browse, and here is this app that I showed, my sales app with my CSS, my images, my JavaScript. I just select it, say Open, and click finish. Okay, here's the application. We can see there are some um, resolution problems that we can take a look at. Um, we don't have unit tests configured. We don't have configuration files set up, but that's okay. We have um, visible as a starting point our set of CSS style sheets, our images, our JavaScript, and our HTML. So they're open and we can edit them inside the IDE. We have uh, code completion uh, for HTML, as you would expect. Um, we have the same for uh, JavaScript um, support. So all these things that you would normally expect to get from um, a code editor. Um, actually more than a code editor and IDE. Uh, code completion everywhere, documentation support and all that. But what we also have is the ability to right-click on the application and say run. And what this does is it opens the browser. And here is the browser opened. Um, I'll open it right across my application. Okay, here it is. The first interesting thing is there are different um, sizes I can set. So. What we have here installed into Chrome is a plugin provided by NetBeans. So a NetBeans plugin that interacts with WebKit. And Chrome is one of the browsers built on top of WebKit. And the idea is ultimately that there'll be um, a uh, plugin for all different kinds of browsers on all different kinds of platforms. So also on mobile phones, for example. We can here select a um, smartphone portrait and we get a much smaller size, kind of the smartphone size for our um, browser. We can switch to tablet landscape. We can So you can see here the different resolutions are available, plus we can customize. Now let's imagine we're creating an application for a smartphone. So this is more likely what we want to have, this kind of size. I'm going to resize my screen a bit, my NetBeans main window, so that this fits into there. Okay, now you can see everything together. Make this a little bit longer. Okay, now what's really cool is normally when you're um, working with your HTML page and your JavaScript and so on, you see an image in your browser and then you have to switch back and try and figure out where that is. Um, what you can do instead here is you can switch to select mode and now you can see that with my mouse I can select different parts of the um, of the page. Now we also have here inside of NetBeans the navigator. Here is the navigator. We can click on items here and you can see that the navigator changes and also as I move over the items in the navigator the related item in the browser is shown. So there's bi-directional communication between what I see in the browser and what I see in my IDE. So it's a, it's a first really cool thing. Now let's see here. We will open as well the CSS style sheet window. So we select on different items. And we can see that the CSS style sheet window also changes to show us which styles are being applied to the current item in the browser. Now the important thing is also that this isn't um, a plain HTML browser. This is actually a DOM browser, since a lot of the content that you see here is generated from the JavaScript that's deployed into the browser. Actually now the navigator shows 
um, the DOM tree live in the browser while the style sheet window shows us the styles um, being ap uh, applied to the currently selected item. So now let's look inside the JavaScript. Um, and we see here we have a language setting to Dutch in this case. So this whole text here is in Dutch. We can make a very small change here to EN for English. Now save this and immediately you can see the changes applied. So there's no concept of redeployment. We make a change, we save, and immediately we see the result in the browser. What there is also is um, um, this JavaScript editor you see here is built on top of Nashorn, which is the latest JavaScript um, engine technology. And what we can do here is set breakpoints and debug the JavaScript. So I can right click in here and say toggle breakpoint and then restart the application. So I run it. And now I can step through this um, uh, JavaScript um, as I would normally do in uh, with a JavaScript editor. You can see I can step through the code and as it's being um, executed inside the browser. So this presents a whole new way of working with HTML and um, direct interaction between the IDE and the browser, um, bi-directional, a JavaScript debugger, a CSS support, and the, the very cool thing that you saw at the start, um, just start with a bunch of HTML files, images, CSS, and JavaScript, and open them into the IDE, and you're good to go. Just use this template, um, open the application, and you can use all the functionality that I've shown. This is available from NetBeans IDE 7.3 beta onwards. That's it. Have fun with NetBeans and HTML work.